So two really popular brands in the online mattress space are Tuft & Needle and Brooklyn Bedding, but which one should you go with if you're deciding between the two? Hey there, I'm Wes with The Slumberyard, and over here we review all things online beds. We talk about mattresses, comparisons, best lists, and so much more, and we're basically trying to help you make your best mattress purchasing decision. And for the purposes of this video, we're putting Tuft & Needle head-to-head -head with Brooklyn Bedding, more specifically the Tuft & Needle Original Mattress and the Brooklyn Bedding Signature. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about everything that you need to know about these two beds, starting with the policies, and I'll compare them, talk about their similarities, differences. I'll touch on their feel, firmness, pricing, and at the very end, I'll try to have a final verdict and answer the questions that you still might have, like which bed you should ultimately go with. Now, if you need any more information about Tuft & Needle or Brooklyn Bedding, check down below in the description box. We'll have a ton more helpful content for you down there, including full written reviews, coupon codes, and so much more. But let's get right into this mattress comparison. At the slumber yard. You know we work real hard to find the right bed for you. Alrighty, so before I get into everything that you need to know about these mattresses, I do wanna say that both Tuft & Needle and Brooklyn Bedding did send us these beds for free to test out and review and tell you guys about them, but if you order either one online, they'll be backed by the following policies, starting with completely free shipping. These are both bed-in-a-box mattresses, meaning they'll ship to your house in a big old box that you basically just drag inside and start ripping off all the packaging and the bed will expand in front of your eyes. Now with the Brooklyn Bedding Signature Mattress, this bed is a hybrid, so it'll pretty much pop right into its true shape, feel, and firmness rather quickly. But with the Tuft & Needle Mattress, you might wanna give it a day or at least some hours to fully inflate and get to its true firmness before you start making any of those tough mattress decisions on the bed. Now, once either the Tuft & Needle or the Brooklyn Bedding are in your possession, you get a sleep trial with both. Tuft & Needle gives you 100 nights to test the thing out in your own home. And with Brooklyn Bedding, you get an extra 20 nights. But either way you go, you're gonna get at least 100 nights to test this thing out in your own home with your own sheets and your own pillows. And you know, make your decision if you wanna keep it or not. Now, if during that trial period you don't like these beds for whatever reason, you can get free returns, but hopefully you do enjoy them and wanna keep them. If so, they're both backed by a 10-year warranty, which is pretty much the standard in the online mattress space nowadays. Now, if you need any more information about these policies or those sleep trials or anything else, check down below in the description box. We'll have some helpful links for you down there if you wanna read up on all that. And hey, if you happen to enjoy this video along the way, hit the thumbs up button, we always appreciate that. But let's get right into this comparison and start talking about construction. And this is one of the main ways that these beds differ. So with the Tuft & Needle mattress, this is an all foam bed with two layers. It's got dense support foam as its main layer of support. And then on top is a comfort foam layer, which is an adaptive open cell foam. And this adds up to give the Tuft & Needle mattress a soft neutral foam feel. It's really accommodating, pretty much something that we think that most sleepers will enjoy if they sleep on. The Tuft & Needle mattress is pretty much just a safe pick and we don't see any people having issues with this mattress. Now in terms of the Brooklyn Bedding Signature mattress, this bed is a hybrid mattress by default, meaning it has coils in combination with some foams. Now in general, pocketed coils are something that we recommend to anyone above the 200 to 250 pound range. You could also go that route if you just want some extra bounce or responsiveness in your bed. But in general, pocketed coils are just supposed to provide a little bit more long-term support and durability for those bigger body types. And sometimes they can also improve some airflow as well. So there are a bunch of different reasons to go the route of pocketed coils. We do have a lot of information about those if you wanna check them out down below in the description, but that's basically the short story. Now above those pocketed coils, you have a transition layer for the bed. Then on top of that is a layer of memory foam and the whole thing is wrapped up in a nice quilted cover top with some more comfort foamy layers in that. And you can even swap out that top cover and make it a cooling cover. You will have to pay up a little bit for that, but if you are a hot sleeper, that is an option for you. Now I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more later, but the Brooklyn Bedding Signature is available in a couple of different firmness options. And depending on which one you go with, the size of the different comfort foams in the beds will slightly differ, but in general, it's gonna be the same construction. Now, now, no matter which firmness level you do decide to choose for the Brooklyn Bedding Signature, the whole bed's pretty much gonna have a soft neutral hybrid feel. It's also gonna be pretty darn accommodating, similar to that of a Tuft & Needle, just something that we think that most people will really enjoy. This one might have a little bit more of a memory foamy sensation since it does use memory foam inside of its construction, but in general, we just think it's a soft, neutral, hybrid, responsive feel. In general, both of these beds are gonna feel pretty darn similar. You might be able to tell 
tell a little bit of the differences with that responsiveness from those coils. But in general, both safe picks and both are gonna sleep really nicely. Now the next section I'm gonna talk about is firmness. And for the Tuft to Needle mattress, this bed is available in one firmness, which is right around a medium on our scale, meaning it should work for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. You know, since a medium is right in the middle, it should be a great option for pretty much any sleeping situation. Now with the Brooklyn bedding, that is available in three different firmness options. You have their soft, medium, and firm. The soft is gonna be around a medium soft on our firmness scale, probably best for side and combination sleepers. The medium will be right around a medium, so similar to that of the Tuft & Needle. And the firm will be around a medium firm, so slightly firmer, maybe best for strict back or stomach sleepers. And we just say that because we notice that most back or stomach sleepers tend to prefer firmer mattresses. Now, if all of those firmness levels that I listed from both beds aren't exactly what you're looking for, that's fine because Brooklyn Bedding and Tuft & Needle make a number of different beds. Tuft & Needle has their Tuft & Needle Mint Mattress, which is an all foam bed, more designed for strict side sleepers. It's pretty darn soft, so that would be a good option for you. They also have a really nice hybrid bed, the Tuft & Needle Hybrid. And in terms of Brooklyn Bedding, they make a ton of different mattresses. Some just right off the top of my head is the Aurora, which is made more for cooling you down. It's great for hot sleepers. And they also have the Titan, which we kind of think is best for anyone who's maybe a heavier person or needs a bunch of support in their bed. Brooklyn Bedding also offers the Dream Foam Essential, which is more of a budget pick. And they have the Eco Sleep, which has a latex foam feel. So there's tons of beds to choose from. And I'll link them all down below in the description if you wanna learn more about those. But let's jump back into this comparison and talk about some X factors between Tuft & Needle and Brooklyn Bedding. Now with the Tuft & Needle mattress, this is a pretty simple bed. It's two layers, it's got a neutral foam feel and it's right around a medium. That's pretty much what you're getting. But with the Brooklyn Bedding mattress, this bed is made in the United States, I think Arizona to be more specific. So if you like supporting American made products, that could move the needle for you. And like I mentioned, you can get that cooling cover instead of their normal cover. It will cost you around a hundred bucks more, but that's a good option as well. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on is price. How much money are you gonna be paying if you go the route of Tuft & Needle or Brooklyn Bedding? And I do wanna preface this whole section by saying that you know mattress brands like both of these do like to change their pricing and promotions constantly. So this is as of when I'm recording this video, but you should be able to pick up a Tuft & Needle mattress in the queen size for around the $1,000 mark. And you might be able to save around 100 bucks with the Tuft & Needle mattress. As of when I'm recording this video, they're currently offering a deal to save some money. So that'll be linked down below in the description if you want to apply that. And if you do like to use any coupon codes that we have, we really appreciate that over here at the Slumberyard and it helps out our channel. So thank you. Now, in terms of the Brooklyn bedding mattress, this mattress retails for the queen size around the $1,300 mark, somewhere in there, but you usually can pick it up after discount for around that thousand dollar mark. And again, any discounts will be linked down below in the description for that bed as well. But that's basically the story when comparing Tuft & Needle to Brooklyn Bedding. So now let's talk final verdict. Well, I would recommend the Tuft & Needle mattress if you're looking for a simple all foam bed with a soft neutral foam feel that's right around a medium. And check out the Brooklyn Bedding Signature Bed if you want something that also has a neutral hybrid foam feel and you want a bed with three firmness options to choose from and you like the sound of adding on that cooling cover. But that's just what we think over here at the Slumberyard. What do you guys think? Have you tried any of these beds before or would you like to? Write us down below in those comments. We would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. We really appreciate that. And again, so much information about these two beds down below in the description box, including those coupon codes, other comparisons, so much more written content and more. But that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Wes, wishing you a good night's sleep.